Writing a good abstract is an art. If it is done well, it creates enough interest in the reader so that they want to read more of your article. Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to write a good abstract. Alright, let's begin. What is an abstract? In simple words, an abstract is a summary of a research paper. Usually, it's a single paragraph with approximately 200 to 300 words in length, which aims to give an overview of your entire project or research paper. An abstract is placed at the beginning of the paper, after the title and before the introduction section. If you look at this paper, this whole section is an abstract, which lies in between title and introduction. So why do you think an abstract is important? An abstract is important mainly because of two things. First is for selection purposes. Readers go through abstract and select the paper based on decision they make after reading the abstract. And second thing is for indexing purpose. Journals use keywords which let quick access of abstract to the users. So when you search for the paper using keywords, you can see abstract although you may not see other sections of the paper. So what are the things that you need to include when you write an abstract? First thing you need to include in abstract is the reason for writing the paper. This includes introduction of the topic and explanation of why the topic is important in your field and gaps in the research. This can be done in maximum two to three sentences if done well. Let's look at this paper. You can see two sentences here where the authors have introduced the paper and written the reasons behind the paper. Second thing you need to include is the objective or aim of your paper. This can be done in one sentence usually. Let's look at this example here. The highlighted section is the objective of the paper. The third thing you need to include in your abstract is the methodology. In this section, you described what method and approach you used for this study. For example, if it is research trial in animals, you can include number of animals, sampling techniques used, trial design, and data analysis methods that was used for the study. Let's look at this example. Here you can see the methods used where the authors have included number of animals, treatments, apparatus, and data analysis method in this highlighted section. Fourth thing you need to include in your abstract is the result. In results section, you need to write findings from your research in not more than three sentences. Many abstracts present their results in one to two sentences. Now let's look at this example. You can see the result here, which has two sentences and describes the major findings of the study. The key to writing good result in abstract is mentioning only those results that are relevant to your research problem. And the last thing you need to include in your abstract is discussion and conclusion. You can make a target of two sentences for this section, where first sentence is for explanation of your result and second sentence is for the conclusion or key message. Let's look at this example. You can see the discussion and conclusion section here in two sentences. The first sentence is about conclusion and second sentence is about the implication of this study to the field. So, in summary, abstract includes reason for writing a paper in two to three sentences, methods in two to three sentences, results in two to three sentences, discussion and conclusion in two to three sentences. Now, let's look at these two abstracts, one on the left and one on the right. Can you notice any difference? The abstract on the left is a single paragraph to one, whereas the abstract on the right is divided into four sections, which are objectives, methods, results, and conclusion. The abstract on the right is getting popular nowadays and usually medical journals have this kind of abstract. Both abstracts usually contain same section. The only difference is one is divided into sections and other is not. Let us know if you prefer one over the other in the comment section. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked our video. Please do not forget to subscribe our channel so that you get more useful contents like this and share our videos with loved ones. We will see you again in next video. Until then, watch, we inspire and keep inspiring.